Okay, let's talk today about a beast of a bush hog, rotary cutter. Okay, welcome back once again, Hidden Acres Homestead NC. Be sure to click in the bottom right corner on our little logo, give us a like, give us a subscribe, does good things for us, and we always appreciate that. Today, what we're going to go over is a semi-in-depth review on a Twister Series Rhino Ag rotary cutter. This thing is an awesome beast. Uh, it's a it's built as a medium duty rotary cutter, so you get a two inch cut diameter. And for what my purposes are, that fits the bill perfectly. So stand by, and we'll go through some slides and some video and show you what we're talking about with this awesome piece of machinery. Okay, this is the Rhino Ag TW25 rotary cutter. We'll talk about the intro features, what I like, what I don't like, and who this thing is built for. Uh, it's a, basically a 60 inch, 5 foot wide cut, medium duty, single spindle rotary cutter, cat 1 and 2 compatible, grass weeds, light brush up to 2 inches in diameter, uh, corn stalks, whatever else you want. I'll post a link to their website in the description below. What I love about this thing, this is the blade carrier. And if you notice, this is different from a regular stump jumper that's like a donut shaped thing. You can't see your output drive shaft with those. So you don't know if you've got baling wire, twine, plastic, anything else wrapped up around there. This is much easier to check before you start bush hogging and clearing out any debris you have on that shaft. It's also got a two inch cut capacity. It means you can go over stuff like this and not have to worry too much about it. If you just have open fields, you may not need that capacity, but I use this thing down in the woods a lot, cutting down saplings and everything else, and you do it a lot more confidently when you have that extra half inch of cut capacity. Uh, most of you people that may have bought a homestead you don't know what all that land looks like. It may have lain fallow for years. With something like this, I just drop the front end loader down so I can not hit anything that I really don't want to run into. Kind of feel it with a front end bucket. Uh, I got a six foot bucket and a five foot bush hog. So if I get the bucket through there all right, I know this bush hog is going to take care of business and I don't have to worry about destroying the drivetrain either on the bush hog or on my tractor. I really love that capability and you can see what kind of path it cuts. I had no idea what that terrain was like before I went through it. Uh, we talked about category one and category two. It's also adaptable with the iHitch system. 60 inch cutting deck, high, you know, high durable laminated uh, tail wheel on it, tapered side skirts, so you don't gouge the terrain when you're doing, you know, U-turns with your thing with the bush hog. Baffle deck, high capacity cutting chamber means you can chop up more stuff and it doesn't just lay there. And it also sucks the, uh, it's got more suction underneath it. 60 inches, also available in 72 and 84 inches. These are the specs on it. You can read them just as well as I can. 64 and a quarter inches, 108 inches long. You can get down to an inch and a half cutting. This 25 horsepower that they're talking about is PTO shaft horsepower, not tractor horsepower. Uh, 720 pounds. I've got the chain, so it's actually 760 pounds. The blade tip speed is good. Uh, 65 horsepower gearbox rating with a five-year warranty. Cat 3 drivetrain, it's a, a one-year warranty. Things I like about it, the, the 12 gauge steel deck, 7 gauge steel side skirts, uh, better than most in its class, 5 year warranty on the gearbox, slip clutch or shear pins, high lift capacity deck, sucks that stuff up so you're chopping it up good. We talked about Cat 1 and Cat 2, it's more heavy duty. It's got a dipstick that's easy to use. It's got a step for storing your PTO shaft so it's not laying down there in the dirt when you're not using your, your bush hog. Excellent customer service. No problems whatsoever with dealing with Rhino Ag on any issues you may have come up on this thing. 
What I don't like, it's a little more expensive than your average bush hog, but it's a medium duty and it's not one of the light duty ones. Uh, it does not have an accessible oil drain plug on the gearbox. Most bush hogs these days don't. That sucks. It's built for uh, small farm, farm owners, homesteaders, ranchers. If you've got open fields only, get a bigger bush hog. If you're dealing with brush and saplings and open fields, this is a perfect fit for you. Uh, limited maneuver areas, I got the five foot because I had limited maneuver areas. Uh, this is some of the stuff I routinely go into with the bush hog and I back this sucker down in and just start shredding saplings and everything else as I need to fit you know what I'm doing. I don't have any hesitation driving this tractor with this medium duty you know two inch cut capacity bush hog down into this stuff and clearing out some land. So that's about all I've got. You can you can uh, take a look at some of the other videos that, that show what this thing will do, and we'll just keep going a little bit right here. But be sure give us a like, give us a subscribe. We appreciate your interest in our videos, and as always, have a great day. Bye.